What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an AI pet companion. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will need is of course our AI pet companion model itself. In my case, I have imported this free pack from the marketplace. I will leave it in the description in case you want to grab the same one as me. But basically it has different um, animals that we can use with our pet of course you can use whatever model you want but i'm gonna be using one of those um so let's go ahead and start creating the blueprint itself so just right click in the counter browser go into blueprint class and then go and select character it will already have the character movement component the uh, skeleton mesh add into it the capsule component everything set up let's go ahead and name this bp underscore use pet companion or whatever you want to call this and let's open this up in this case, we'll be making a simple AI, so we will just do it from blueprints, nothing crazy from behavioral trees. If you want to see um, some of my tutorials on behavioral trees, um, go ahead and check them out. Um, so in the mesh, we can now go into the skeleton mesh asset and of course, find our pet. In this case, we have a lot of different options. In my case, let me just go into the fox. Uh, so it is actually quite small, which is good because normally pets are uh, smaller than you kind of. Of course, you can have massive pets if you want. Uh, we can just play around with the values. So what to do is basically place it pretty much at the bottom of it and basically just drag into the scene and you see a bit how much is happening on the ground. As you can see, we need to put it into the tip. So basically just put it on more down and then put it into five maybe and put a bit up. Um, maybe into one, put a bit down. I think that's perfect. Let's see. Yeah, that, that will work for me. Okay, it's pretty much in the ground. Of course, you can play out with the um, settings. In my case, you can copy my exact same position on here. Great. So we have the character there. So now let's go into the bank graph and delete everything except the begin play. Let's go ahead and create a new custom event, which will be basically follow player. Okay. With that, what we can do is call this node, which is the AI move to, and we can just go ahead and put self into pound because that's the AI that we want to move. And then the target actor, we can now simple as just go ahead and just say get player character. And with that, we can put an acceptance radius. This is um, basically how close it will get to the player. Uh, for pets, I recommend setting this to around maybe 150, something like that, because if it's too close, it will annoy the player. So we want to kind of keep it a bit of a distance, but close to it, you know. And then on success, what we're going to do is just follow again, uh, uh, follow player. So it will be in a loop. And of course, we have to call it once to initialize it. So in the gameplay, we'll do so. And that basically will just make our AI follow the player once and once again uh, forever basically okay um, with that said what we can do is just go into the scene and now uh, you will see that when I press play nothing will happen the thing is that a real engine needs something to be able to calculate all the paths that the AI can go so let's go up here and let's go into the volumes and you'll see this nap mesh bounce volume basically we have to go into the scale and put this to be for example 20 so it will fill up the whole scene now if I press P, you can see everything inside that box will be calculated so now the AI can move. Very, very important. So now we press play, so you can see the AI will indeed go and follow us. There are some things happen. The thing is that his rotation and movement are very snappy and it doesn't really look too good. And of course then we have to add the animations. So what we're going to do, we'll quickly just go here into the AI companion blueprint. Let's go into class defaults and search for yaw. We're going to go ahead and disable this because this will really be setting the rotation to be very snappy and we want to do it in another way we want to just go into the character moving component go down until we see the orient rotation to movement and enable this and with that you will see that the rotation is way smoother now we want to add the animations into it so what we're going to do is search my animations in the pet but first of all let's create what we need which is just go ahead and right click go into animation and then in legacy you will see this plan space 1d we're gonna go ahead and select the uh, fox skeleton, and then we just want to put, uh, you know, pet, um, band space or whatever. Let's open this up. Let's go into the horizontal axis and put here the speed. And then we'll go ahead and put the maximum axis value as the max speed. Also, by the other hand, I want to also select the character mode component, go into the max speed, and basically go ahead and um, decrease it. So let's put, for example, 450. So it's a bit slower. And then we're gonna go ahead and put, and what was it, 450? 
yeah so 450 in here which is his max speed so now in here what we can do is you search for idle or whatever and then we can just put for example uh, aggressive and look around maybe so like looking around and then we can just put the run maybe it is yeah run and just get a run and put it here so now basically as if we hold control and move across the timeline as the value of the speed increases it will be transitioning from the idle animation into the run animation so great now what we have to do is just create the animation blueprint the last thing that we have to do so just right click go into animation blueprint select our fox skeleton create abp underscore pet let's go ahead and open this up now what we need to do is search our um uh, blend space so blend space 1d just drag it and then just plug it in the result just uh we now have to set the speed uh if we are where to put this at for example 450 and then compile as you can see he will be running but the thing is that we have to set this uh, depending on what speed is moving in the game so just right click promote to variable so as it's in a variable we're gonna go into the bank graph from here we're gonna get the velocity from the owner of this um, blueprint and then we're gonna use this node to convert this into a float so the vector length node with that we can now go ahead and just drag the speed and set it with its accordance speed so just get in the owner speed and then set it in there with that we just have to go into the viewport um what they just do let me just go ahead and just put components sometimes i don't know real engine just like kind of crosses my components i don't know why <laughs> but let's just go into the mesh name class and now search our ai pet plug it in press play as you can see now we have our ai that will uh, follow us and with its animation and everything and of course you can change the speed the distance i will stop and so on so that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. Join my Discord servers, follow me on my socials, and now yes, pull out bye bye.